I'm Liz Murphy, Executive Director of Destination Hudson, here with... I'm Jerry Barnes, the Fire and EMS Chief with the City of Hudson. And our organizations have been working together for more than a year uh, with the goal of turning the first floor only of Town Hall into a brand new fire museum and a visitor center coming in off East Main Street. Forward, but a lot of work has been done. Uh, one of the biggest first steps that we made, the, the two groups, the Hudson Fire Department Association and Destination Hudson, when we got together, was to decide on our architect. Uh, we uh, thought long and hard and, and looked through many different options available to us, and we decided on Peninsula Architects. And having Chris Bach and Joe Matava involved in this project has just been fantastic. They're a local uh, company here that uh, Joe lives right around the corner from the building here. And uh, we actually have had a, a, a wonderful experience with them. They have uh, created this conceptual plan for us. And it's probably the fifth or sixth different iter iteration that we've had. We've made a lot of changes over, the, over this period of time. They have submitted these plans for approval to the Summit County Department of Building Standards. Standards. And then some of the exterior work has been approved by the Architectural Historic Board of Review here in the city of Hudson. So we have signage and landscaping and outdoor things all approved as well. So that was a big first step. And here we are going to take those uh, current updated bids, review them, and select our contractors. So we're all very excited to be able to be one step closer to having construction or deconstruction, I guess, would start first, um, to start to take place. So fundraising has been going extremely well. Realize we never have to have a deadline. We can rip up blank pavers and put in uh, engraved papers, any t pavers anytime. We have two places, right here at the entrance to the Fire Museum on Church Street, and right over here on East Main Street at the entrance to uh, Destination Hudson and the Visitor Center. As a matter of fact, Jerry, I was going to mention to you that many high school classes, the alumni groups, have bought a paver. I thought maybe you could get your class to do that. I, th I think that's an interesting <laughs> idea. We've had uh, a number of the firefighters have created uh, bricks for their families. Uh, uh, we were so excited. Very recently, uh, the group received a wonderful donation from the Rick and Michelle Schultz Family Foundation. That was a substantial donation that really helped kickstart the project. And then, Liz, why don't you tell them about the Morgan Foundation? The Burton D. Morgan Foundation gave us a $125,000 challenge grant, uh, which is exciting and has brought a lot of people to the table to make donations. Standing in here in the lobby with the restrooms, the Rheinberger Foundation donated the money for renovating the restrooms. So here on the outside of the town hall, I believe you're getting a shot of uh, the 1896 plaque above the what are now fake doors. These are the uh, original location of the fire department bay doors that back in 1896. This is where the horse-drawn fire apparatus came out of and we're going to take these doors and remove them make even though they're fake now they're going to become real working doors and that'll be the entrance for the fire apparatus to come in and out of the fire museum. This will be the entrance lobby coming into the fire museum or to the back side of Destination Huts. A wall of glass cabinets so it'll really open this lobby up uh, you can see through into the Destination Hudson Visitor Center sales room and uh, we think it's going to be really special. Right. Go down a number of steps to what will be the fire museum. In that fire museum we're going to have our 1859 hand pumper. Uh, we're going to have a rotating either our 1928 Seagrave fire truck or our 1948 Mack fire truck. Hudson and Hub Times will be giving us regular updates as the construction progresses, uh, you can watch them at www.hudsonhubtimes.com and you can also watch these updates on our Facebook page which